Well, it's the partial lunar eclipse tonight and I'm not sure that I have the right setup for it but I have a new Milky Way lens that I got the other day, the Canon, uh, what is it? The Canon 16 to 35 f2.8. It's a really cool landscape lens and I really wanted to try it on some stars. I'm not sure if we'll see a lot of stars tonight, there's some high cloud overhead but it's been a while between doing any sort of astronomy at all so I just want to do something. So I'm going to go out with uh, my boy and we're going to go out and see if we can get a glimpse of the partial lunar eclipse. It's pretty low on the horizon. I'm going to take two lenses including the 105 and uh, we'll just see if it works. Anyway, my name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. assistant here is carrying all my stuff for me because I told him I'd pay him some money uh, which is fantastic if you are considering having children this is one of the perks At this point, the wind drowned out everything I was trying to say, which is a shame because it was the most profound, insightful few sentences of my entire life. But like a Buddhist sand mandala, it was lost to the impermanence of time. As the bloody beaver gently rose, I felt a sense of connection at that moment, not only with my boy in the solar system, but the people around me. A shared excitement as we all bore witness to this interplanetary syzygy. The beauty of this particular lunar eclipse was how it drifted across time zones over hours and this shared experience was felt from North America to Australia at the same moment where the internet also allowed us to connect with everybody else where clouds had hampered their view and truly rub it in their faces. Apart from this, it was just nice to do some astrophotography casually. No big equipment, no tracking mount, just my trusty 6D Mach 2 and its 105mm kit lens. And although the video on my iPhone has become better than the expensive DSLR for the most part, it was nice to know in cases like this, the bigger glass will always win. Size really does matter. I think there's something in that for all of us. Well, it's much too hot for a lab coat, hang on. Well, it's been declared an official monsoon this summer here in Australia, so I'm unlikely to see any kind of clear skies for a while, which means there's probably gonna be some lunar work, some solar work, and all of that easy peasy stuff I can do. Anyway, I'm becoming one of those astronomers that just talks about the weather all the time, and I don't wanna do that. We've just had this batch of lunar eclipses, you know, one, two, three in a row at sort of different parts of the world, but we were lucky here in Australia, I've seen three very recently, which has been great. So I think there'll be a break in lunar eclipses for a while. There is Comet Leonard, uh, which seems to be brightening and brightening, and that's gonna be fantastic to keep an eye on. This is a developing situation. And the other good news is the sun is waking up. We are coming out of the solar minimum. It's not gonna mean non-stop action 24 seven, but these days of zero sunspots are coming to an end. Hello. Oh, I'm still not used to it. Anyway, my name is Dylan O'Donnell. You've been watching Star Stuff. Remember, everything's meaningless and we're all going to die. Thank you. 